Hi, I'm James Grimes from The Big Step Project and I'd like to share my point of view on gambling, my story, The Big Step and what I want to see in the future for gambling. So I started gambling at the age of 16. Long story short, I'm now 29 and for 12 of those years I was a gambling addict. It destroyed most aspects of my life, not just the financial aspects and the practical elements to a gambling addiction, but it caused depression and anxiety and low mood and no motivation and lost trust in my family. I lost two jobs. It destroyed a lot of career prospects and all the things that most addictions do give you. Unfortunately, it gave to me and I'm still feeling the consequences of them now. Obviously, the financial aspect, as severe as it is, is not the thing that I look back at with most regret. I look back at the way it made me treat other people and the lasting impression that has on both my mental health and theirs. And yeah, I'm now uh, just over 18 months clean. So my last bet was on the 5th of April 2018 which was actually my 28th birthday. Um, I was supposed to be at work, but instead I was at a bookmaker's and I lost £2,000, which was every single penny I had in my bank account. Um, I went home. Uh, it was a bit of an out-of-body experience. I don't really remember how I got home, what I did, but I got home, turned my phone off for three days, hid in my room, cried, barely, eat, I barely ate. And uh, it was then when I realised that this can't go on for any longer because first of all it was nearly at a point where I want something to go away I didn't know if it meant the addiction this feeling or as drastically as my life but I just know I knew at that point something had to change and when I turned my phone on I had a flood of messages from uh, people that I care about who wanted to know what was going on uh, I lost my job as well so my employer was wondering uh, what that situation was and uh, it was yeah once again I realized that other people are being adversely affected and that's the thing with gambling the gambling related harm is not just to the addict himself it's themselves I should say it's uh, to everybody that um, has any association with that person and I'm thankful for the people that stood by me and were supportive and uh, I still do to this point now and um, yeah, as I say, I'm clean now and if anything, I'm addicted to helping people and not go through the same thing I did and uh, promoting preventative action and working with charities for gambling reform. And one of the things uh, I did is set up a project called The Big Step. So earlier this year, I decided that I wanted to do something for a gambling based charity, the charity that I found and now work with was Gambling With Lives, which is a uh, charity set up by bereaved families of young men predominantly who unfortunately took their own life as a result, a direct result of their gambling addiction. And we know that 250 to 650 people in this country take their own life as a result of their addiction. So this is why I feel really passionate about working with them because also it resonated to, with me. Um, as severe as it sounds, there was moments where I felt like that could have been me. And for a lot of young men um, who struggle with gambling and people that struggle with gambling-related harm, um, I think this is where football has a responsibility. So the big step is football-specific. We walk and talk to football clubs to try and get them to evaluate their relationship with gambling companies. 27 of the top 44 clubs in this country have a gambling shirt sponsor. Virtually every club in the top two divisions will have uh, a gambling company as a partner. And obviously the whole football league is sponsored by a gambling company as well. So it's just the sheer uh, prevalence of gambling advertisement within football, which for me, uh, I think created the normalization and glamorization of gambling without any genuine risks awareness involved. So I thought when I started gambling that placing a bet on your favourite club and watching your favourite players and uh, seeing your favourite players with gambling shirt sponsors, that, that all normalised it for me and for, for young people. And I, th I think football has a, uh, has a responsibility to, the, to promote preventative action in terms of looking at the advertisement, 
maybe not accepting the deals or looking at offering kits without sponsors or uh, stripping the pitch side hoarding advertisement away and whistle to whistle bands all these things that are ultimately what we want but at the moment the big step is concentrating mainly on awareness raising of the severe risks of gambling addiction because i don't think people within football know some of the unbelievably sad statistics around gambling and suicide and young people gambling so it's just uh, spreading that message as much as possible so uh, people do know and so when people are considering buying a football shirt with a betting company on they know the associated harms that that may be doing but also it's about working with clubs we're not pointing the finger at clubs we understand why the clubs have these sponsorship deals they're lucrative and for smaller clubs it offers a good financial opportunity but if they must have them i think they have a social responsibility to engage with charities like uh, gambling with lives and projects like the big step to support people and fans within their community that may be affected by gambling so signposting towards local treatment services and holding groups and match day hubs all these things are things that we're trying to promote and trying to engage with clubs um, going forward to help people not go through the same thing i did uh, i did as a football fan first and foremost um, we recently had two awareness days at Huddersfield Town and Derby County where we had uh, leaflets just raising awareness of the some of the stats around um, gambling addiction but also trying to engage with both the club and fans um, who generally even people that like a bet are in agreement that football doesn't need this amount of gambling advertisement within it and football can provide that safe caring uh, community hub for people where if they feel like they need to open up or feel like they want to know uh, where support is available that's that's where they can get it so ultimately the big step is about preventing another generation of young gambling addicts through football but at the moment it's about spreading the message as much as possible creating that dialogue with everybody involved including uh, football clubs football fans governing bodies, the industry, to just take, let everyone take that big step of evaluating this relationship and the damage that it's doing to young football fans so they don't go through the same thing that I did.